Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mech Maroon stream. Hopefully, everyone's doing great tonight. I see a Ricky. Someone is happy today. Tataimo Arsaril. Who else is here? Earthy. I'm not Bree. Thanks, guys, for joining in so early. We are building the Emery 65, which I unboxed about... I think it's been about a month at this point now. So, yeah, hopefully everyone's ready for this. I was very excited for this build, so hopefully... The end result will match how I currently feel about it. So yeah, welcome everyone. You guys can follow along while we talk about this board before we build it. You know, I'm not going to go through as in-depth as we did during the unboxing. But yeah, you guys can follow along on the Geek Hack page. This is a 65% keyboard, all brass bottom, aluminum top, blockered 65% layout. Check it out, comes in three colors, green, which is the one I'll be building tonight, black and red. A couple more items here, 6063, which is the high grade aluminum for the top and full brass for the bottom, 2.2 kilograms unbuilt, five degree typing angle. Check that out. And it uses an IO3 daughter board, all that good stuff. And one thing that we're doing different today is rather than use the Yancar provided PCB, which is great. This is a great PCB. Yancar is one of my favorite designers, actually. So um, we're gonna do something a little different. During the unboxing, I discovered, I discovered that the NeoKeys G67 Element PCB is a direct swap. So why use that over this? Because that one is a hot swap PCB. At the time being, at the time being, the Emery 65 does not have a hot saw PCB. This is the only PCB available, fully soldered. So we're gonna go with a hot saw build tonight, especially since, you know, you guys know me. I tend to do my build streams on Saturday when I have more energy. Weekday build streams, I've just come back from work, barely eating dinner, so just trying to do things faster than usual. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Look at that, you know? Um, before we build, I do want to bring up a few things. Um, number one, it is a $540 kit, $539 for A stock and $489 for B stock. But you do have your option for plates. So let me do a, let's see how many of you are watching. 52, yeah? Yeah, that's a, that's a good number. We're gonna do a quick poll tonight. What plate should I use for this Emery 65? Your options are aluminum and the next one is polycarb. I will be building these, these with the Texi ice candy switches. So yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys decide which one you think, which would, which would be cool for you guys. And while you're doing that, I'm going to have a few sips of my beverage here. 539 is ouch. I would normally agree that it is, but now that I have the board in front of me, it's definitely of that caliber. No, I'm not going to say that 539 is cheap, but this is what you would expect of a board like this. So here, let me show you some of the additional things that it comes with. Um, I was sent a Kaban case. I'm not sure if this is going to be part of the deal, but thank you very much, Ricky. Yeah, there it is right there. Um, the That's not a brass plate that you're seeing right now. This is the, this is the aluminum plate that you're seeing. Looks like brass, right? But nope. Yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Now look at that back. Nice brushed brass. That is a very beautiful board and quite hefty. This is just the unbuilt unit alone is already heavier than this guy right here. A fully built mono KK. Just from my quick liftings right there. But yeah, this is this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous board. Well, it looks like we're almost done with the pole. Yeah, there it is. Bitlab says, okay, I love that green. Yeah, it, it's definitely gorgeous. This is probably one of the nicer greens I've seen in, in our community in a long time. And it just matches very well with the gold. 
that. Let's see, and we are done. The winner of the poll is Aluminum with 61% of the people voting for Aluminum and only 39 voting for Polycarb. So yeah, usually I'm not too, you know, Honestly, I would have preferred if you guys picked Polycar, but I'm not too bummed out because, as I said earlier, we're going to use a hot swap PCB. So yeah, what that hot swap PCB is, it's, you know, already kind of pre-built. <laughs> I've, I've already put Duroc V2 stabilizers on it. But yeah, you guys can see. Neo Key 67 HSF V3.0 uses an Atmega 32U4 microcontroller. Dot a board connector all the, all the way over there on the right hand side, which corresponds to the the cabling going to the left over there. See that? Yeah, we did test fit this during the unboxing, so I know that this works. I'm not just experimenting here. <laughs> I'm not just experimenting. And yeah, these are going to be lubed. Texty ice candy. I, I really like them. Like ever since I put them on my Baldur 60, I'm like, hey, these sound really nice to me. But yeah, since you guys voted for the aluminum, I'm gonna have to take this apart and remove this aluminum plate before we can get started. There we go. There we go. Gaskets are already in place, by the way, so this will be a relatively quick build. One thing to note um, is also, um, do not over tighten the screws. Keep them a little bit light. Is there any pricing out? This is a $539 kit. If you think that that's expensive, it definitely is. But for what it is, a brass bottom and high quality craftsmanship, that price is actually the right amount. All right. Yeah, we'll be putting this together. When is this on sale? Um, the group buy is supposed to start middle of December. Ricky, correct me if I'm wrong. All right. And I thought I was bailing joining R2 of Mr. Suit. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing that there are some tight fit fitment issues when it comes to the Duroc V2s, but that's not surprising. I've seen that on a lot of boards lately. This really tight fitment, the Duroc V2 stabs. There we go. Okay. Everything's in place. Woo. Tight, tight, tight. We really hope that this is the start of a standard 65 form factor. Yeah, I would not be surprised. Let's see, it should be 19th of December. There we go. 19th of December. All right, there we go. Do I still have the aluminum brass element to compare? Um, I do actually, but if you remember from the build of the element, I actually didn't like how the brass bottom sounded. So what I ended up doing was um, brass top and aluminum bottom. That's what makes this particular combo sound good. So yeah, I don't quite have the other variant built. And yeah, if you guys were wondering, for the element, you can't swap over the plate as well, just because the tabs are a lot longer. It's only the PCB that's swappable. What keycaps am I using? I am going to be using Geek Arc Green Tea.
I'm almost done! And what? We're only half an hour in. <laughs> ice candies on Brazia. I have... My only experience with ice candies has been on a polycarb plate in the 60%. And it looks like I have another tea that is... That's fine. Okay, that's interesting. With ice candy switches, I noticed that the leg actually gets pushed all the way in. Man, that's kind of dangerous. Alright, so that's two switches that I'm going to have to repair now. Makes me kind of paranoid seeing what else is here. Okay, hopefully this guy goes in properly. There we go. Wait, is this gold colored palm plate? No, this is a gold colored aluminum plate. When, when I say that I have experience with ice candy on palm, that's on my other board, the boulder. All right, let's test out this PCB really quick. So because so many boards now come up with the daughter board, I've kind of created this little harness right here. Basically just a spare USB-C cable attached to a daughter board. Like so. <laughs> yeah, just gonna test it out, make sure everything works before we continue. Yeah, daughter boards are. Hella cheap. Oh, look at that. It's shining. Oh, hey, I guess another reason why you would want maybe the Neo keys is that now you have in-switch RGB. <laughs> Here, let me turn on Via just so I can check this out. So unfortunately, um, I did do the QMK and Via for this board. And while it's in QMK already, we're still waiting for the Via implementation, unfortunately. So let me, I'm mean, sorry, it's the VIA merging. So just gotta wait on that. See, where, where did I put it? Where did I put that stuff? Neo keys, where are you? There we go. Element hot swap. Boom. There we go. Okay. Um, hold on. My wife is trying to summon me. BRB. Okay, we are going to do, here we go, tracing. Let's make sure everything works. Key tester, switch matrix. Not really sure I like this pattern, so I'll probably change it up in just a bit. But because I've got, um these fully transparent switches. Pretty awesome that you can see all of them, right? Okay. While we're at it, let me just change up my layers right here. Okay. 
think we're good for now. There we go. That's my RGB changing. <laughs> That's too bright. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. That's fine for now. Let's go put it in the keyboard. All right. There we go. Looks good. Let me plug it in again just to make sure it still works. Is it a flawed board if it needs those mods? You know, honestly, that's 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 a preference thing, right? Because one could say that the Tofu 60 is a flawed board, but yet so many people love it as well. Look at that. Christmas time, that's going to be way too bright for me. But hopefully once I put, put keycaps on, it will temper it a bit. But yeah, today's keycap choice is going to be Geek Arc Green Tea. So let me grab that. Relax, your tea is here. So the funny thing is, um, this is such a small world. The person who ran this, um, I actually built a board for him as well, and turns out we went to the same high school. <laughs> Look at that. Hopefully that that shade. Okay, because honestly, I. I was going to put GMK Kaiju on it, but number one, apparently Diego already beat me to it. And number two, my GMK Kaiju still hasn't been delivered. It said it was supposed to be here yesterday, but still no shipping confirmation. No, no nothing. So I'm kind of like, well, crap. So here I am. N not that I mind, you know, I, I do like Geek, Geek Arc. But one thing I hate about Geek Arc is they have chosen to implement the crappy tabs that GMK is so well known for. So I'm like, ah, annoyed. Just glad it's not white on black. I have so many white on blacks. Hey, that sounds good. Okay. I think aluminum is the right, is the right choice based on the one key that I pressed. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I I was noticing that as I was putting the keycaps on, it was really it's super tight. Holy crap. And you guys are gonna hear how this room sounds without my filtering on. You guys tell me how it sounds. I would char characterize this as a clackier board, and as many of you guys know, I don't really like clack that much. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find something good about it, which is why I'm trying to build more boards that are clackier, just because I have experienced nice boards that are very clacky. So I'm kind of like, you know, trying to expand my horizons here. I can't just be focused on one thing. I need to try Maybe not necessarily like everything, but see the value, the pros and cons in everything. But yeah, I think once I get GMK Kaiju, I might put it on this one. I'm like, I love how the board feels already, to be honest. The, 
The sound is just all right to me. At least it's not the kind of clack that I hate. So yeah, I, this is this is definitely something that I can I can work with. Not my favorite sound, but it works. Can I swap one of the switches out for a KS9 and see how it sounds? Yeah, sure, I could do that. Sure, let's um, swap it out. Can I check to see if my stems are cracked? Nope. So the thing with PBT, right? PBT is less likely to crack than it is to stretch which I found out on my cat keycaps. Okay. A lot of people are already selling their suits. Let me guess. It didn't suit them. <laughs> off boo <laughs> okay I'm gonna try KS9 like obviously this isn't going to be a complete hold on let's make sure that's straight all right it's in here hopefully you guys can hear the difference It definitely lower pitched, but not too much. Here, let me bring it closer to my mic, to my vocal mic here. So keep in mind, this is why I don't ever like use these tests and put them on YouTube. I usually redo it. It's because this vocal mic right here, the one that you can't see off screen, is tuned to be a vocal mic. Yeah, yeah, this board, like I've noticed that isolation Gaskin mount boards tend to be clackier. So yeah, if you absolutely do not like clack, isolation Gaskin mount probably isn't for you. The upstroke is pingy. The KS9 or the, or the Texi. So Xseeds, keep in mind, these switches sound completely different on a different board. There we go. One last typing test for the road. Let's do a shorter one so I don't get too tired. This is a, a stiffer board that I'd like, so I noticed already after, after doing like the 100 word test, I was feeling a little fatigued. Here it goes. Thanks guys for joining in. I'll finish this off with one last typing test. There we go. Thanks guys for joining in. Next stream will be, you know what, I'm actually going to be out of state this weekend, so my next stream will be, I'm going to try and do something on Sunday for my group by new stream, but that remains to be seen, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a good rest of your week, and I'll catch you next time. Bye everyone.